If you are like me, always knitting and crocheting, you end up having loads of little tiny balls of wool left over yarn that doesn't actually make any full projects anymore. So um, here I'm showing you what I'm doing with these at the moment. I have all sorts of different kinds of yarns here. They are mainly wool, but then there's some cotton, bamboo and uh, mix, mixed fibers and also various thicknesses. So what I will need to do is sometimes to put two yarns together if they are too fine. But mainly I'm not going to be too worried about the yarn weights. Sort of just use them anyway. And uh, I'm not joining them beforehand. I'll be showing later how I put them together. I know that some people like to use various joining methods and then make big balls of wool, but um, I prefer not to. We can use all this scrap yarn up for a scarf or shawl or even a blanket, where you just use one little ball of yarn up and then take another. Okay, let's start. So first you just need a chain that is long enough to make the width of your scarf. You make a loop, put the needle into it and tighten it. And then you start chaining. If you are familiar with the basics of crocheting, you can just skip this. So um, you continue like this until it's long enough. Mine uh, is 60 centimeters long. So just chain for 60 centimeters. Now my chain is long enough and then I start the next row. We will be using just trebles and chain stitches. And that's treble in the British sense, Americans call it double crochet. But anyway, it doesn't matter what you call it, I'm going to show it. First, you need a yarn over. So one yarn over. And then for this first turn, you count the sixth stitch from the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you insert the hook into that. Through like that. And then you pull the yarn through there. And now you have three stitches on your hook. Again you take a yarn over and you pull it through two of these. And yarn over and through the rest two. That's your first treble. Then you chain one. And basically that's all there is to it. For the whole scarf, you keep going like this. I'll make one more. Yarn over. You need to skip one stitch so that will be even. Not this one, but the next. Hook through. Pull the yarn through. Yarn over, through two, two of these, yarn, and through the other two, and chain one. And then you make another treble again, not the next chain stitch, but the one after it. And this is how you continue until the end of the row. So here I am at the end of the row and then I need to turn. I chain three. And turn. And I'm going to make the next row of trebles into these loops, holes left from the previous row. So I make one treble into this here first one.
and then I chain one and make a treble to the next one. So basically this is all there is to this. You go back and forth right in the beginning into the square left from the previous row. But next we'll look how you're going to change the colors. By now I have worked quite a bit on my scarf and I'm again at the spot where I need to change two yarns. This one is finished. When you change them, there are of course many ways and um, I'm showing one that saves you time because you don't need to be passing the ends of yarns with needles later on. So you leave, well, I have a quite a long one here now, but you leave about at least 10 centimeters or a bit more. And then you take the other, take the next one you're going to use and you crisscross them a bit away from your work and you pull that one there and leave the other one double for a bit and you set this one double as well so it looks like this here and then you just hold them together these two yarns here and you are going to continue crocheting using both so I take both of these and chain one and then I continue normally making a treble and the new yarn comes whenever it comes depending on how far you crisscross them and then you just continue again using the two because this is still double for a while so I chain one this of course makes it slightly thicker but you have to put the end of the yarn somewhere anyway so now I have made one treble using a double thickness and maybe I'll still make the chain stitch and then I leave the other one just like that there and continue using my well it got stuck then continue using my new color like that and afterwards you just cut these bits and here we can see the scarf so far I'm changing the colors as random as possible 